for the benefit of a little bit of time and a chance to review the tape, how do you feel like Russell Westbrook played in this first quarter? Pretty good. You know, we didn't get him involved enough, you know, and that's on me. Um, you know, we, we continue to, to look at, uh, you know, situations to make him useful and, um, you know, not pull away from what AD and Braun are doing. Uh, those guys obviously got, got going, but I didn't do a good enough job getting Russ going. And, um, you know, that's that's an easy fix, you know, something that we're, we're familiar with and you know, keep looking at every day, you know, to get a little more comfortable with it. Mike, have you looked at any other old film or previous games he's played with other teams to see how you can incorporate some of those plays? A ton. And yes. Is that something that you guys are... We already have. Yeah, yeah, we already have. Yep. You guys... Uh, decided on the, the two big lineup with DeAndre starting at center and eight at the four. Uh, what, you went to that a couple of years ago. You guys had some, you know, shooters around like KCP, Danny Green in the backcourt. Uh, with Russ, what what is kind of the, the spacing dynamic that you have to figure out there with just having kind of another guy that maybe is as good of a shooter as those two guys were? Yeah, it can still work. You know, um, you know, obviously, uh, you know, we have to be smart with our spacing, and um, you know, if we're precise with our spacing. Uh, we got plenty of room to operate and, you know, obviously, uh, you know, Russ has played with a traditional big, you know, most of his career and has been very, very effective. Um, you know, so that's something that we'll, we'll continue to look at game to game. I'm not committed to a lineup for tomorrow night um, or something that, you know, is going to be our lineup going forward. You know, we're still in explore our, our personnel in our roster stage and uh, you know, we'll see where that's at. Is that something that's easy for, you know, you talked about the veteran group and understanding sacrifice. When you say I'm not committed to the lineup for the next game, is that something that they understand pretty well? Yeah, absolutely. How are those, yeah, sorry. Oh, go ahead. Uh, how are the guys, uh, sort of Wayne and, uh, none. none. Yeah, so, um, Wayne is still out. Uh, none has a, um, it developed some soreness in his knee, uh, over the last few days when he was, you know, uh, you know, working to return to play from the ankle and they did some imaging and, and found a bone bruise they're concerned about. Um, so he's going to be out and uh, likely be reevaluated in two or three weeks. Do you know which one that is? I don't. Uh, with regard to Wayne, I know you did a, a week or so ago, you thought there was a possibility to be ready by opening night. Obviously, now we're beyond that. Is is, is his also more serious than his? No, no he's, he's getting he's closer. Get, okay. Yep, yep. Frank, you kind of knew that injuries were going to, I mean, actually put together a more experienced team. Injuries are going to be a part of that story over the course of the year. You've had injuries to some of your younger guys out of the gate. It's just bad luck at this point. Yep. Um, how, right. yep. How, how drastic has that changed sort of what your vision of what you, what you wanted opening night or the opening to look like versus... Kind of what you're able to put on the court now. Yeah, well, I mean, we the, the great thing is we have depth. You know, if everybody's healthy, we're going to have to make some difficult decisions as to which guys to go to. And um, it's just brought clarity to those decisions. You know, um, it's not a, it's not a situation where we don't believe in the guys that, that we have. We, we have the right depth, you know, to still get the job done. Uh, we don't feel like that's going to limit us. Um, you know, but there's, other, you know, obviously there's uh, a lot of versatility with the skill sets of Wayne and Talon and Trevor and, Monk, uh, I'm sorry, not Monk, Monk uh, none. You know, all these guys that, that we'll, we'll have 82 games to take advantage of. Uh, but right now we got the guys uh, in uniform to get the job done. Considering everything you're going through right now, what's the value of having Avery as a guy who knows your system? And I'm sure you tweak some things, but who, who knows how to play the perimeter role in your system when you're really down on those kind of players? Yeah, we're short on perimeter defenders, you know, even when we're whole. You know, guys, that that's, that's their specialty. So... Um, you know, he definitely uh, brings something that we need, you know, and obviously he's a two-way player. He knocked down a couple threes the other night. And, um, you know, I'm really excited we picked him up. Is that, is that one of the challenges you guys are going to face here early in the season um, as guys get comfortable with one another and put scheme defensively that, you know, there aren't as many, like sort of like lockdown perimeter, just one-on-one -on -one defenders on this team? Yeah, you know, obviously it's a concern of mine. Um, but we have to get the job done, you know, regardless of that. And, uh, you know, what I like is, like, we have, we have two-way players. Like, everybody on the roster is, is good on both, both sides. You know, there's just not the specialists um, that, that we had, uh, guys that are elite on that, that side of the ball. But there's, uh, there's other benefits to the other side, too.
You know what I mean? And, uh, you know, our thing is we just have to get our guys really executing our scheme um, at a high level. You know, if they execute our scheme and, and chase guys, you know, chase their, their perimeter players into our bigs the right way and then pass them off the way we want to within our scheme, um, you know, we're confident we should should have an elite defense again. Uh, AD said that, you know, Ron's talking about always wanting to loop in AD and LeBron on, on personnel matters. And AD said that there were conversations in the summer about Avery as a free agent before he went to training camp with the Warriors. Do you know um, what the thinking was? And were you guys close to bringing him in before he went to Golden State? You know, uh, you know, I know early on Avery was holding out for a bigger deal. You know what I mean? And I think that's that's you know once we completed the roster. Um, you know, with the 14, right. we were at that point and felt like he was just looking for a bigger deal. Um, he ended up joining Golden State, and then being waived. And at, at that point, um, you know, we had already begun our camp, looked at our team, and you know, just has a, had a little bit of a different lens on. And then the injuries, I guess, made it more. Sure. Right. Yeah. yeah. Right. 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 Okay. Well, they has got the uh, primary assignment on Steph and played the fourth most minutes behind Big Three. What have you seen from him defensively, impact-wise, to kind of get that role as a starting shooting guard, playing that many minutes, and just kind of his overall impact? Yeah, he's still learning our system. You know, um, you know, obviously he's got a great defensive skill set. Uh, you know that we really like, and um, you know he's competing at a super high level. But there's still with all of our guys, um, you know, a lot of instincts that need to be. I don't want to say corrected. Um, because it's it's not a matter of them doing things wrong. It's just doing doing things the way they did it with their previous team, you know. And and we just have to get the you know get get our scheme in their instincts in their head, um, you know. So you know, Bayes has some of that, you know, that uh, you know continue to grow and, and get more solid on. Um, but for our whole group, we're not not there yet. All right, we have time for the last two on Zoom. We'll go Allen and then Mike Trudeau. Hey, Coach, um, hey, just a quick question. You're, you're mentioning that whether it's a starting lineup or just lineups in general, it's going to kind of take some time. And is that is that how common is that in the first 30 days, 60 days? Or is this kind of unique to your guys' situation because there are 11 new players on the roster and circumstances with injuries and so forth? Well, I think every team, you know, has a little bit of it, but we're going to have a lot of it. And <laughs> we're going to have a, a bigger need for patience than most teams because we have 11 new players, you know, uh, it's that simple, you know. I mean, Draymond and Steph have been executing that that system, you know, for the most part with that that exact personnel for for many years. Um, Phoenix, you know, obviously went to the finals with their exact personnel that they're bringing in tomorrow night, and you know we're very different and new to each other. Um, so there's going to be more of a need for patience with with our team than any. But I do think that's that's part of every team's training camp, every team's early part of their season. Go ahead, Mike. Hey Frank, you referenced the perimeter guys being a, a little, you know, the loss defensively and being a little bit smaller. Just wondered how does that, if at all, impact some of the scheme, uh, you know, or is it is it more about kind of the bigs being able to cover for parts of that? How, how does that connect for you? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, our, our, our scheme is gonna gonna remain what it is. We're still actually trying to grow some of the things we do defensively. Um, you know, with a lot of study this summer, you know, some some things that we can, you know, just continue to build. You know, I mean, our, our scheme, you know, by the end of our championship run was uh, was very not very different, but way more advanced than what we started training camp thinking that we were going to be. You know, we just added pieces along the way and ad added tools uh, into the tool chest that, uh, you know, that could just enhance our D. And we're still of that mindset. So, you know, we're, try we're trying to imp sort of incorporate uh, and, and implement our current scheme while still building it. And, um, you know, that doesn't change with what, what's happening with the perimeter.